everyone, my name's Declan McGlynn and we are very pleased today to be joined by Dave Rene from Interscope Records. Dave heads up Interscope's A&R for dance music and was recently described in Billboard as one of the three most influential people in electronic music in America. He signed loads of influential acts including Nero and Zed and more importantly he's also a Point Blank graduate having taken many of our online courses. Today we're going to talk about his role at Interscope, why he decided to study at Point Blank and his tips for producers looking to get signed to a major label. So welcome Dave. Thank you. Yeah, how are you here. doing? Real good. Um, so let's just get straight into it. I just want to ask you a few things about your role at Interscope. Sure. I mean, what is it that you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, basically, it's uh, what you said, A&R. Yeah. For a lot of people that don't sure. know what that means, it can mean, can mean a lot of things. But, you know, it's fundamentally for me the process of finding and acquiring talent, mm. developing that talent, and then seeing that through all the way through the execution yeah. or the... Uh, um, putting out of whatever product it might be, the sure. track, the album, the video, whatever yeah. it is, the assets that you create. And what is it you listen for when, you, when you're listen, hunting for these artists? Nothing specific. Um, for me, it's completely an inside job. Uh, you know, I have to wind my clock. Music, for me, is super emotional. Mm -hmm. So whatever does that for me, you know, the emotional wind, winding of my clock mm -hmm. is what I pay attention to. Um, I don't read stats or view counts or blogs or any of that stuff. I just kind of like... Trust your instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instinct. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Completely. And so who are you working with at the moment? Um, my, the biggest, well, a number of different things, but I'm working with Zed. Um, I also manage him. Um, and then he and I signed an artist named Miriam Bryant together. She's a singer-songwriter from Sweden. Mm -hmm. um, the opposite of dance music. Right. But um, again, like it, it can come in any shape or form for me. You know, it's just as if there's something that I really, that really pulls me towards them musically is like, I'm, I'm into it. Yeah. Um, so Zed, Miriam, I work with Nero a lot and I work with uh, another group called I See Monsters. Um, Nero and, uh, I see monsters both from the UK. Sure. Which is why I'm here. Yeah. So what is it, I mean, who would you, um, a tip for 2015? Who's the big artist coming through that you're excited about? Um, Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, she really is. I call her the voice yeah, of God. Um, she's amazing. She, everything she writes is a hook. Wow. You know, every phrase. And um, she writes really well. Her voice has like an amazing texture, tone to it. And, um, and, you know, combined with like the, the production behind it, she's really kind of like forging her own lane. And mm. it's really exciting for both Zed and myself. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, maybe you could tell us a little bit about your Point Blank experience. You know, you've taken a couple of online courses, is that right? Yeah. So why did you decide to take an online course with Point Blank, considering that you work in a and I mean, how did you make that link? Right, yeah, I just wanted to be able to, um, I came up, you know, in the A&R world, you know, watching a lot of people and how they were communicating with artists. And I just noticed that there was a fundamental, as I started to have conversations with studios, with artists, with managers, with all those different types of people that I noticed there's a fundamental disconnect in just the communication flow. And I didn't want to, I didn't want anything to be left to translation. So, okay. so for me, um, whether it's in dance music or any other type of music, like I want to be able to, you know, I, I want to be able to talk directly to the engineer. I want to be able to talk directly to the artist and know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So from a production standpoint, it's basically just having the template and the knowledge to have a conversation specifically. But, you know, it's also then going over to the creative side. That's like the, the technical, logistical landscape of an A&R. You have mm -hmm. to be able to have that conversation. Yeah, but yeah, then sure. on the creative side, I wanted to be helpful, you know, so I could offer something, whether it might be something Ableton, Logic, whatever course it might be, sound design, you know, to be able to talk specifically about what's going on in those programs and those applications and suggest 
to the yeah. artist what they might be able to do. I, I guess a lot of the time, especially in electronic music, the artist is the producer as well. So mm -hmm. you have to be able to communicate with them to be able to deliver their product, final product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, and how did the courses help with that? Um, I mean, just I learned logic inside and out here at Point Blank, right. like every bell and whistle, because <laughs> yeah. logic's an onion. You sure, know, yeah, of course. You just go, and I, I just learned every single layer, you know, whether it be I could point out shortcuts to them, simple things, you know, or just, you know, working inside of like the built-in plugins that it comes with and yeah. the software instruments, pointing out different things about how to use those quicker, more efficient, faster, or more creative, you know, and then, um, and then just also all the knowledge I got here about synthesis has been big, you know, for me mm -hmm. because there's so much synthesis going on in dance music. So be a, being able to actually hear a patch that someone selected and I can say like, well, I don't, why don't we try this, you know, or adjust this parameter or that parameter, or the filter, the LFO, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. you know, but making specific um, suggestions yeah, but no, knowing what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, so you have actually sometimes give them advice on how to produce and stuff, and it more becomes more collaborative. Yeah, suggestions yeah, sure. for sure. And I mean, how 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 does London differ from LA in terms of when you come over here? What's the different big difference you see in music? Um, this is that's a tough question because uh, this is I just got here Monday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so far just from the radio and the taxi. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, there's. Music's universal. I sure. don't really think there's a lot of difference. Um, you know, what, there's people here who are liking a certain thing because they might be more exposed to it, mm. you know, but like that can travel and that can travel back, you know, but um, if there was a big difference, I'm not paying attention to it. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'm not trying to like figure out what's going on here. So and I then can like bring figure out how back. it work in that market yeah, and things like yeah. that, right? So you don't want to, don't, not interested in doing that. I right? don't do that. No. Right. I just kind of like do what I'm into. Okay. It's worked so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if that ends up not, you know, working for me, so be it. Yeah, sure. Because um, I don't know if you're aware, but actually, Point Blank's opening a school. Yeah. In LA, I heard. Um, I heard. Yeah, it's cool. Super it's very exciting, exciting times. So, yeah. what would be your tips for anyone who was coming through that school um, that would maybe want to get signed to a major label? What are the things that you would say? You know, maybe the do's and don'ts, or is it that simple? Um, I, I would say that, you know, I, and Point Blank is doing a great job of it, but like really pushing the musicality side of things, right. you know, like that first and foremost, it's kind of like looking at a, all the software and everything you can do production wise right now is kind of like a really nice, looking at like a nice sports car, but not <laughs> understanding how the engine works behind sure. it and or underneath it. So, you know, I, I would suggest that people take their time and understand that they're trying to make music you know with all that being said that's going on on the technical level like what they're really trying to do is something musical so they should take care of that first mm -hmm. i mean we'd, we'd love to get you in for to come and talk to our students in la once the school's up and running would you be interested in doing that absolutely yeah awesome absolutely great so yeah thanks so much for coming in dave for um, sure it was a great inspiring chat and um we'll see you in la yes sir thank you